Today, I want to talk about a common modification for people who do yoga practice. I have a lot of patients who have asked me about it because they would like to do a yoga routine at home. And there's one particular foundational move in their yoga um, vinyasa practice that they can do. It's the forward fold. So a traditional forward fold is when you are in a side position with your arms above your head and you bend forward at the waist in order to get to the floor. There's actually a couple ways in which people do that. Some people transition in this way, some people do the swan dive, but in all three modifications or options, people have to flex forward at the waist in order to reach the floor. For a lot of patients who have lumbosacral mechanical issues like disc herniations, degeneration, instability, um, this is, it causes a lot of pain to go from this 45 degrees to approximately 120 degrees. And so they're not able to do that. And uh, they discontinue doing the, the yoga practice altogether. So I'm going to show an easy modification that bypasses this, um, this transition and allows you to still do a normal flow. So we're going to start in the normal standing position. And what we're going to do is we're going to print, pretend we're sitting in a chair by moving our pelvis behind and flexing the hips deep to the point that we're going to roll and rest our stomach on our thighs and eventually fully fold forward to reach the floor. From there, you can often extend back without causing pain. So I'm going to show it again. We're going to start up. We're going to flex our hips and move our pelvis behind, pretending we're sitting in a chair. And when we do that, my back doesn't bend. My back is going to remain flat and stable the whole time to about here. And then I'm going to rest the weight of the back on my thighs and I'm going to move forward. From this position, you can comfortably do the rest of your routine and complete your sequence.